The Velveteen Dream. It's in the building at all. The power the dry. There's been a crazy times here. Ooh. It's good to speak. It's good I'm a little banged up, a little beat down, in pain from last week in that TLC match, but I'm here. I'm here and I'm still standing on my feet. Still on my feet and I'm still was out of it. I was out of it, but I saw the footage after the match and saw that someone is a fan of the dream. Someone loves the dream. Somebody want to hold the dream, want to cuddle, and want to kiss the dream. And that man, that fan, is Mr. Hypocrite. Peacemaker himself, John Cena. I don't know what's the reason, but I, I'm glad he did what he did last week. And now, I guess I don't really know. And the dream didn't have to attack you. You attack the dream. <laughs> so I is now pretty much you got the dream's attention. And now I'm just going to say it, but not spray it. I'm just going to say to you, Cena, we never has spoken we have never met and we never competed it is Wrestlemania weekend I mean, it's that means Cena I'm challenging your ass to a match a date with the dream at Wrestlemania <laughs> because the dream doesn't need your approval Cena your, the dream doesn't need your speech your respect, <laughs> your attention. I don't need the attention to be the top guy because I already am. I don't, I don't need none of it. I don't need your advice. But Cena, I guess you need a pretty much. Some guy's been talking in a big game, telling everyone that he's strike at it any time and I need to be watching my back. I don't need to watch Jack to that. I said, okay, bring it on. I'm ready anytime because I can't see you, Johnny boy. Johnny boy, I, didn't, I don't see you at all. I don't know if you are cleaning our house or pretty much making a paper championship in, in Westbury. I don't know if you calling The Rock, calling Dwayne to make, to pretty much get his advice, not to be a joke. Like, <laughs> Yo, is he here? The hell no, he ain't here. No.
Ja, das war der noch. Sieh das hier. Lowest fall. Good. Good one, man. You see me? Now you see me. Cause I promise you, homie, if, if you just say just a few words, a few more words, you're just going to regret ever grabbing a mic. You should be grabbing these nuts because you know, Dream, I wasn't going to be on this show at all. And you should know a valuable of respect. I'm not going to call you anything else because now I'm glad that you if, you... if you wanted to get my attention, all you had to do was ask the dream. All you had to do was just ask me like a man, face to face. All the never give up crap and all the logos, all the merchandise right now of you being this... Being this someone else because you see stop right there. You see I came out here so you will finally shut the hell up. Maybe you didn't get the message here. Everyone help me out with this one. Shut the hell up because you see last week I do what I want. I'm, I'm the face. I'm the man. I'm the damn <laughs> franchise. And you better recognize because you now you everywhere I go I make money. Everywhere you know, you kiss ass. <laughs> I'm getting sick and tired of this. You want to come out here and say something to me. I don't give a damn who you are or who you represent or what you all about. You in the dream, the Velveteen Dream Show, and this is NXT. So now, you... I don't give a damn what your name is. You want to know why I attacked you last week? Here's a little secret. You're just not good enough. That's why you don't get what you want. Like me, I get it. Because I deserve it. I, I get it. Because I... Been doing this. Been doing this for 15 years. 15 years. 15 years. 15 years of you begging and begging and begging and begging and kissing ass because you got and now I trying to climb and go and be the guy and be and hustle through but you're not the John Cena like I remember you're not the John Cena like oh my god it's Cena damn it's Cena now attacking the dream once again it's Cena I'm not done with a sunset flip Hey, I wasn't even done speaking. <laughs> and Santa, I'm not taking a dream again. And Santa, I'm gonna clothesline.